Hello guys and welcome to Northern Panorama. So this is the Skywatcher 190 Maxiton Newton scope that some of you know that I bought two years ago. Um, it's a pretty heavy piece and it looks like a Newton but it's a Maxiton Newton. And the difference is that it has a glass corrector lens here at the front which makes it uh, very suitable for astrophotography. Uh, the focal length is uh, 1000 mm and uh, it's a great uh, tube for, for galaxy hunting. Uh, however, it has some downsides and the, the biggest one is uh, this uh, Crayford focuser that it's not uh, uh, pretty sturdy. It has some, a little bit of flex uh, and uh, I'm not very satisfied with it. And the other thing is this uh, small Vixen uh, short uh, doe tail. So what I will do now is that I will change uh, this focuser to this one. Uh, this is a focuser that I bought from Sky Optics on eBay. Uh, it cost around uh, 310 US dollars, I think. So pretty cheap, but it feels uh, great actually. And then I will also change this dovetail to a Los Mandy uh, style dovetail, which is a little bit more sturdy. And I will also put another uh, Vixen uh, dovetail on top. Uh, as a kind of uh, uh, for, for gears and I will put my guide camera on this one. So this is uh, the Sky Optics uh, focuser. It's made specifically for the Skywatcher 190 Max to Newton, uh, which offers a little bit more stability than uh, the original Crayford focuser. It's made of aluminium and it feels Great. And um, besides the focuser, you also get uh, this uh, adapter ring that you use to attach uh, the focuser in the original plate. And also a rotator ring. Okay, the old focuser is attached on this plate, so I need to remove it. And uh, there are four screws on each side here, two there, and uh, two here. Okay, and then it's just to lift away the old focuser. And what you need to do now is to attach this adapter ring. And just tighten the small screws again. And um, here's the adapter ring, and there are six small screws around that you use to secure uh, the new focuser. Okay, so 
looks pretty good actually. So now I will just uh, align it and uh, then secure it. Something like that. Okay, so the new focuser is installed. Looks great in its red color and uh, it feels very smooth. So now when the new focuser is installed, what I will do next is to uh, check uh, the collimation and uh, then I will uh, attach the camera and see where I have focus and uh, then I will also an analyze uh, eventually if there are some tilt also. So that will be very interesting to, to to try the scope with this new focuser. Uh, the first time I think I will uh, focus manually, but then I will also attach uh, the EAF to this. Okay, that was a focuser. Now I will uh, change this uh, original um, Vixen plate to a Los Mandy plate. First, I remove the whole tube here. And uh, oh, shit. <laughs> one important thing uh, in these uh, Skywatcher uh, rings, the threads uh, for those of you who are, who are Europeans, it uses one quarter UNC threads. Um, so it's not uh, the standard millimeter threads. And these are from Italian Prima Luce Lab. Something like this.
Okay, so now we have this uh, more sturdy Los Mandy style dovetail here uh, underneath. And on top here I will attach a Vixen style dovetail which has uh, uh, six millimeter threads here and uh, on this one I will attach uh, my uh, guiding scope and uh, the ASIR. Okay. So, two new dovetails. Okay, so now we have the new focuser from Sky Optics. I can put the link in the description. And two new dovetails. So, now I'm ready to go out and shoot some galaxies. And I really hope we see each other next time out on a dark and remote location. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow my astrophotography adventures. Yeah.